from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The Council for Scientific and Industrial Research held its career day last month as part of the Department of Science and Technology's National Science Week, which saw significant and growing interest in science careers. Skulk Berger has a story. Research organization CSR's Career Day exposed the significant interest in science careers of school children and undergraduates and highlighted the need to ensure adequate support, including internships and workplace experiential training for students to pursue careers in scientific disciplines. CSIR Human Capital Development Manager Joseph Chikomba gives us a synopsis of the day. I was quite impressed actually, uh, the way the students were so enthusiastic they were motivated, they were listening very attentively, they actually asked very deep questions about science, about chemistry, about IP, about all kinds of areas which I never thought that they would be thinking about those kind of things, but they were. Their questions were very insightful, actually it shows that they are really thinking about you know, national issues they're thinking about um, issues that affect this country and the science and technology are uh, solutions that we can provide and the, they were so, so insightful and it, I was quite impressed with the questions that they were asking. This is the kind of students that we're looking for, uh, I mean the deep insight, the, the, the kind of thinking and wanting to be a problem solver and looking at problems from different angles. They are very, very passionate. I mean, they were asking me about, you know, what is required for me to be part of the CSR um, internship program, the bursary program, the, the studentships, and, and all the kind of opportunities for students that we have. It shows that they, they really want to become part of this organization and to become part of the science and technology community and, and, and I'm quite, quite fascinated by that. I mean, I, I felt like, you know, it's, it's a really, really worth the time. And they, they, they are both interested and we were also very interested in, this is the kind of people that we, we should have at the CSR in the future. CSR Biosciences Senior Researcher and Student Supervisor, Dr. Jenny Lee Paniyidis, said that the interest of pupils and students at the CSR Career Day reflected similar interest in science and science careers of primary school children at the National Science Week launch in Cape Town in August. High school pupils at the CSR Career Day asked Paniyidis and her colleagues about the study requirements and career paths of the scientists and postgraduate students at the event and indicated to her that they were interested in science careers. Women were well represented amongst the pupils, students, scientists and interns at the event, helping to illustrate the science career paths open to them. Meanwhile, Chikomba emphasised the need to ensure adequate workplace opportunities for technical students to gain experiential training and encouraged businesses to provide internship and workplace opportunities for students who have passed their courses and who only require workplace experience. He noted that the CSR has a strong internship and bursary program, though it does have very high academic requirements that students must comply with before being eligible. Other news making headlines this week. Bombardier opens new propulsion equipment production site in Asando. Rail technology provider Bombardier Transportation last month inaugurated a new 6,000 square meter production site and headquarters in Asando. We're standing here today. It's a top class facility for manufacturing of traction equipment and in South Africa. When we were awarded a portion of the Transnet locomotive project, we were very clear on one thing. We said that every single locomotive will be built in South Africa for South Africa. This facility in itself is a proof of that commitment. A commitment to the Africa Rail, commitment to Transnet, commitment to the people of South Africa, creating jobs but also to help and support developing the industry in South Africa. That's Krimo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.